Hi everyone, thanks for being here for the uh, second practice of the Shrine Bowl this year. Really appreciate you guys being here and uh, being at practice, coming to the press conference as well. Uh, we're going to have Dorian Thompson Robinson speak in a second, but first we're going to start with Matt Grow, Director of Player Personnel for the Patriots, talk about Shrine Bowl practice and Shrine Bowl week. Matt. Thanks, man. Make you guys wait for the start of the show over there. <laughs> Any questions to start? Uh, Matt, Devonta wasn't Devonta Maxwell wasn't on the field. Is there a reason behind that? Um, yeah, you know, a lot of those personnel decisions, um, who's playing, who's not playing, the Shrine Bowl um, handles. So you know, we're very, very uh, appreciative of the opportunity to, to come out here and, and coach these guys. And we just coach the guys that, that Eric's done a great job of, of scouting and, and getting out there. I think it's lost, um, you know, how much time uh, goes into you know all these all these all-star games trying to find players you know you got guys from all over the country um, you know and, and their their staffs aren't as as large as say our staff and the time that these guys put in Eric and, and all his uh, you know other uh, you know staff members put in and trying to find these guys um, and get them out here for us and give them an opportunity to um, you know compete against you know uh, guys from all over the country maybe higher levels uh, maybe lower levels, but they're all here for a reason. They've all earned that right. Matt, just broadly, I guess, what are you hoping that you and your staff get from this week? It's great. Every you know, we're here every year, regardless. Um, having our staff be available, uh, get to learn these kids really, um, drill down, spend so much more time with them, meeting settings, really, you know, how much can they handle? Um, obviously, the, the physical part of football is. Is a is a massive part, but the mental is is mental is is massive as well. So, all the time that we get to spend with them, and then also there's the personal part. So we get to really kind of see them more in, in a natural setting, um, more relaxed, you know, with their teammates. Being a good teammate is really important to me. It's really important to our organization. Um, see the guys who are good teammates. See the guys who, all right, these guys have all just come together. Well, who's risen as kind of the leader of a group? Um, sometimes that happens pretty quickly and, and you know, hey, that guy's got to really have something as far as leadership qualities that these other guys who are, you know, the top of, of their groups from their schools, you know, respectively around the country, why they gravitate into that guy. So, and then, you know, conversely, you got the good and the bad with that. So, um, just being able to, to observe all that is, is tremendously beneficial. Could you see the, the increase in the number of players in the portal? Does that affect uh, player de uh, development? Uh, yeah, I think you could probably look at it as good and bad. So, you know, a guy who, um, you know, would Brad Johnson have been at Florida State all those years? He probably would have been starting somewhere else. Um, you know, our organization was fortunate enough um, and did their homework and found Matt Castle. Matt Castle probably doesn't sit at Southern Cal for all those years. So, uh, you know, it gives guys um, a little bit more of an opportunity to go out there and compete. I know it's, it's, uh, it's hard for all those colleges, all those college coaches. Uh, we try and keep up with it as best as we can, but you can look out there and, I mean, there's countless number of players He's from this school, he was at that school. He's from this school, he was at that school, and he was at that school. So, uh, you know, we keep up with all that, and really it's just a, a, another group of um, coaches, uh, support staff from different schools, get their opinions and, and their input on, on a prospect. Do you, think yeah, playing, I'm sorry, do you think playing in some different systems can actually be beneficial too, learning different ways to go about it? Yeah, you can be at one school and have four different offense coordinators though. So that's that's the way it is here these days. These kids have um, got to learn to adapt. Obviously the high school systems are you know much more further advanced than they were however many decades ago. So um, it's, it's constant change in, in football and the ones who can adapt and learn and get up to speed with things, just like this week. The quicker you can get up to, up to speed with what the playbook is for the Falcons and for us, you know, those are the guys who here in the early practices certainly are gonna give themselves the best chance to stand out. We got to see Bill O'Brien on the field today. How would you characterize your conversation so far with him? With Billy O? Yeah. Uh, you know, my first year coming in, uh, I was able to spend some time with Billy O. So, you know, we go back a little bit of uh, a ways and then, um, you know, with him being in college and, you know, me visiting Alabama, I've been able to, you know, kind of rekindle um, a little bit of that, but it's, it's great to have him on board and all our coaches are out there just trying to get these guys ready for this game uh, Thursday night and, uh, you know, look forward to seeing what they can do. 
How does having a new offensive coordinator and potentially a new offensive scheme affect your approach or your role this offseason? Yeah, I mean, we're just really trying to go out there and beat the East team right now. <laughs> so we got a long ways to go before that happens. Um, just trying to get these uh, young men out there that, that Eric's put out there, um, you know, the best chance to, to succeed and, and really hopefully prepare them. This is a great opportunity for them to try and get to know a little bit of a pro system, a pro coaching staff, um, a pro pro way of going about things. Um, football so much for them has always been balance between school and football. Well, this is kind of an introduction to football all the time. What have been your thoughts on Las Vegas as a host city so far and have, how it's become an NFL city as well? Yeah, it uh, hasn't been too kind to me so far. <laughs> um, so trying to get out of here Thursday night with a win. Uh, that would be fantastic. Um, try and get things on the right side here at Allegiant Stadium. Um, it's a great town, uh, you know, with just the way the schedules worked out and, um, you know, spent a lot of time here in Las Vegas between the, s the summer and training camp and then regular season game here and now. Uh, probably not too many people who have uh, spent time, as much time as I have in Las Vegas and had as little fun. <laughs> um, but but this is fun out here, uh, seeing these guys run around, and uh, Eric and the staff have, have done a great job between the accommodations and you know quick minute, ten minute drive or whatever it is to get over here. So uh, really happy to, to be in Las Vegas. Well, you say, you say you're math. looking for a good a good teammate is important to you. What kind of traits do you look for in such a short week to, to kind of st stand out to you? Yeah, I mean certainly a guy who's got some, um, you know. It, it, these, these games are tough. All these guys are used to being starters. And you got to have a little bit of uh, unselfishness to, you know, a lot of these guys are four-year starters. Some of these guys have started every game of their college career. And now they're the third Z. Uh, so how do they adjust to that? Um, you know, can they still go about things the right way? Uh, everything's not going to be perfect. And look, when they get to the NFL, they're going to have to go through that adjustment as well. Um, most of these guys aren't going to be thrust right in the starting lineup. So just, you know, really, you know, doing what's best for the team, um, being mature, being dependable, being on time, being where they're supposed to be. There's a lot going on here in Las Vegas. Uh, you know, those guys who are really buckled down, trying to learn the playbook, do everything that they can. Um, to, you know, it's not just the team's performance. I understand that this is very much a kind of individual game. Um, but, you know, we want to look as good as we can uh, as a collective group. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate it. All right, next up we're going to have uh, Dorian Thompson-Robinson, UCLA quarterback, West Team quarterback, Las Vegas resident, hometown. Um, Dorian, you go ahead. First off, just what's it like being back here in your hometown and being a, a part of this event? Yeah, it's uh, super cool, super blessed. Um, to be given this opportunity uh, for my five years of being at UCLA. Um, you know, I'd only come back for breaks and whatnot to see family and friends or work out every time. So um, to be back here playing football is, in my opinion, where I played my best football at um, in my career. And so uh, just to be back here is, is cool. We saw Bill Belichick and Bill O'Brien talking to the quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. What have those conversations um, been like so far? Yeah, yeah. They're uh, super intense, um, but they're super helpful. They're, uh, they're just trying to get us the information that we need to be able to execute on each play. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we're building a great relationship right now, all three quarterbacks and, and the two coaches. So. Dorian, uh, we talked yesterday about how your experience at UCLA has helped you adjust for this event. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you talk about your acclimation today, how that experience was? And, what you're hoping to develop throughout the week. Yeah, obviously uh, coming in, there's new faces, new plays, um, new way of doing things, new practices and stuff. So um, just getting acclimated with that. But again, going through my five years, um, it's helped tremendously with just knowing how to do things, um, having a plan and a process for when you when you have a little bit of uncertainty um, with what's going on with whatever it is. So, um, And then to, what I want to get out of this week is just showing how trustworthy I am, um, showing that I can, again, like Matt said, be a good teammate. Um, and be there for everybody in the room and making sure that uh, guys can depend on me. So. What teammates on the West team do you feel like you've built some early rapport with besides the quarterbacks? I know it's the first day and everyone's adjusting, but you know, it's never too early to build old chemistry with teammates. Not for sure. Well, uh, I think the easiest part for me is I have four other teammates from my 
previous school here. Um, so that kind of eases the transition. But um, no, all the guys are great. Um, the receiver room, uh, we meet and, and do walkthroughs of the plays and stuff. So um, we're getting real close. And then same with the offensive line, centers, of course. Um, you know, I'm working with Ricky right now from uh, Arkansas. So um, really gelling with those guys. And then, uh, you know, the running backs are doing great too. So, and then I really love the tight end group. So, um, you know, everybody's working well together. Um, like I said, we're all just trying to help each other. We know what the, the task is at hand and, and trying to get this win at the end or next week. And um, yeah, we're just trying to help each other do that. So. As a Bishop Gorman product that you spoke about your other teammates, mm -hmm. you know, what's it going to be like for you to ascend to the level that you're at and then get the opportunity to play in the region as well? Yeah, um, special, special. I thought I would be, have already played in Allegiant by now, being in the Pac-12 championship, but uh, that didn't work out. So um, just like I said, super blessed and, and super thankful to just be out here. Um, you know, Eric hooked me up with, uh, with getting uh, the, the fans that I have coming to the game, um, sitting in one section. So uh, I have a big crowd there rooting for me. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited to go put on a show. And like I said, just making sure all these other guys in the locker room are good and making sure that they know what they're doing too, so. Anybody else? All good? Awesome. Good. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thanks, Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate your time. Um, practice tomorrow, 8.15 to the West. It'll be first tomorrow, and they'll practice conference afterwards. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.